Hey everybody, it's Shane here from Junk Teak in Clovis, New Mexico, as well as Amarillo, Texas. Um, you have me on this end and JD on that end. Hello, hello, hello. Today we're going to be doing a little, uh, we're going to use technically a wash and we're going to create this like mottled, old looking finish on here. If you can see, I've already kind of begun to shadow it, but I want more. I want more. I want this thing to look quite a bit older than it's done already. Um, brain just spaced. The color that we're using, or the base color that you see, is Annie Sloan Florent. Love it. It's one a, of my favorites. It is. It's a great, very vibrant color. Um, I haven't used this in a while, but I'm excited because 2023 is the year of color. And I'm excited. Bye bye, farmhouse. Yay, color. <laughs> um, so, anyways, all I've got here is an Annie Sloan medium round brush, a tin of graphite, a spray bottle just in case I need it, and then I've got a wet random old rag that weirdly is, when it's dry, it's weirdly <laughs> the same color, and um, a bucket of water. I was like, well, there was something else for sure. Um, brain just spaced it. La la la. What have, you, what have you done to it so far? Is it waxed? Is it not waxed? Oh, no. So this is just plain... Florence, and then like I said, I put the graphite in the corners already. That's where I was going to go. So, this tin of graphite only had the tiniest little bit of paint in it, like not enough to paint anything. So, I added a lot of water, which is something very, I suggest you do when you're doing washes. It really helps uh, work with it and spread and all that fun stuff. So, can, th can that see yeah. in there? It's very, very, very viscous because I added quite a bit of water in there. But there was so much pigment left in this can, I didn't want to waste it, you know? So that's what I do. Use and use and use until there's no more left. And then, I mean, I have a can. I can put pencils or usually paint brushes and wax brushes in it. There we go. We have them all over the store. Yeah, they're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. If you use them as a plant can, I suggest you poke <coughs> holes in the bottom. Just my little two cents here. So we're going to get this show on the road. Um, I'm getting a little bit teeny. Ooh, see, I told you it's very, very liquidy. Where did I just throw that? Anyway, teeny, teeny, teeny. Is or am I? Is it closed up? Yeah, I'm trying to hold it still for one second. There you go. So very, very little bit on there. And scoot up in here. Yeah, you want to scoot up in there? Can you see my work area here? Oh yeah. All right. Also, side note. Side note. Turn back to me here. That's. Are we there yet? There we are. You're there. Um, let us know in the comments where you're watching from, please. Uh, that is mine and Jameson's favorite piece of doing these lives is seeing where everybody has watched from. And sometimes it's really, really fun. Like, I mean, literally all over the world. And we're in little old New Mexico, right on the Texas border. Um, so it's just, it's fun. Don't you think, Jamie? I think it's, it's a lot of fun. All right. So back to the, back to the show here. This is my work area. This is where I'm going to start. So I've got my graphite there, my very, very watered down graphite. And even then, like, you see all that? That's craziness. Yeah. I'm just going to work that in there. Let's get some water. Spread that around a bit. I mean, you saw how runny that paint was. People ask why, what's so great about any Sloan. Just look at that. The you pigment. Could, yeah, you could paint a piece of furniture with that. I'm just going to kind of try and spread that around using a lot of water. Very, very nice. And even that, with me thinning it out, I hope you can kind of get the idea that we're going for. Yeah, the it must be like the perfect time of day because it's showing up pretty good. Okay, so now I've got my rag here and I'm just going to... You don't need to do it as dramatic as that, but... <laughs> but it's more fun. It's more fun. Yeah. <laughs> now, that is giving me these beautiful, random bits. Like, do you see all of that? Yep. And I'm not even flipping my cloth over that much because I don't want... I like it. So I don't want to take... 
you know, a whole lot of it off. Now we're clearly quite a bit darker over here, so I am gonna have to get a clean section for that. Oh, I'm, and I do want to say, did I already say this in this video about Katja? I don't think so. No, okay. So this piece was directly inspired by Miss Katja, um, a very recent piece that she has done. Um, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, so I do suggest you check that out to see my goal. My goal, my goal, my goal. Also, um, chalk paint is available through loads of stockists all across the U.S. and the world. Every single one of us can show you and tell you all, all kinds of crazy, cool, fun things to do with Annie Sloan. We are all very, very versed in it. You have to be trained um, and shown all of these fun things before you can sell it. So I strongly suggest you find your local stockist. If not, we're online. You can find us everywhere through that as well. Oh, now see, now I'm in, I have an issue. I don't know how strong I want it. It's pretty magical. It is pretty magical. I may have just done something stupid by rush rubbing it, but I say that I do want it a little bit lighter here in the middle. But now I'm going to take my grotty side. Oh. What did I do? I unfolded the whole thing. Okay, so I've got my grotty side here. Now let's come back and model. I do want to get rid of those lines for sure. They ruin the illusion. Do we have anybody letting us know where they're watching from? No. Everybody's being shy today. Shy and quiet. Yep. Pipe up. That makes us more fun. It's really nice. I really like that. And see, this is all subjective. What you do from this point, you know, how much you want to lighten it, how much you want to keep it dark, there really is no right or wrong way. I seem to like things a little bit heavier. Oh, you always have. And you always like it a little bit less. You always, <laughs> always have. I'm you... always pushing you to take out, add more, and you're always pushing me to take off some more. It's funny. And again, you can always blop, 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 blop. There we go. Because I, I really had to do that because of my lines. If you're going for model, don't, don't be ashamed. Pounce, don't drag. Can you put your brush handle the other way? What do you mean? Oh, turn. Were awesome. We, were we doing the close up? Hey, you were like really promoting that brush right there. That's a good brush. You like it dark. Yes. That bottom bit, it's really dark is my favorite. <laughs> I wonder what other people's opinions are gonna be. It, um, it reminds me of that like super in right now, Texas leather turquoise. reason why you're adding more right there well because the handle is here so I'm not doing to really do this outside edge right now but the handle is right there so I you know years of grabbing that would have made that particular area well you know a little more grotty yeah I 
I need to get a new cloth. Okay. I mean, needs a bit more green in it, but it's pretty, pretty there. Yeah. Okay, let me find my chair again. So I have these areas where I hit it with a brush and I'm not super worried about them because of, I mean, this has still got to be black waxed and I'll give you a little hint that I haven't even given my customers yet. Um, it's going to be gold leafed and I want, whoo, there we go. So I, my, my whole point with that is, is it doesn't need to be absolutely set in stone perfect Oops. and amazing. And I do want some of this trim bit. I don't want, I, I still want that to be a little more in your face. Like that. Anyways, so this is called a wash. And in my personal opinion, the, the key with washes is, is, is lines. If I'm using this to make something look old, I don't like the lines. Personal opinion. Well, I can't believe how quiet everybody's being. I know, that's kind of weird. Usually you're asking me loads of questions. I, mean, I guess it's just because you're that good. No questions need to be asked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do have a question I want to ask everybody here in a minute, though. If they could pipe in and tell me their opinion on something. But let me finish cleaning up. You know, it does almost look like an old leather top something. Yeah. Especially, I mean, can you imagine this if this was like on floor and we just did that with like Barcelona orange and some mm -hmm. black? Beautiful little leather look right there. So I'm thinking about doing some transfers on the sides of these drawers. But I also don't want this thing to be all work and no play. I mean, it's not going to be because we're going to get some leaf on there. But what color do you think I should do the inside? I don't really think I want to leave it wood. I mean, I could. Especially if I cleaned up these edges, but... I don't think I want to leave it wood. I think I want it to be something crazy like um, Emperor Silk. Yeah, that'd be neat. Or Barcelona Orange or Capri Pink or something crazy. I don't know. So if y'all want to pipe in, even if you're watching this on replay, we will come back and check these comments here and there. Um, what color do you think should be on the inside while we're here? And it is crazy. If y'all if y'all are hearing this, it's almost like hmm, most people would consider this a natural disaster, like a uh, tornado. Like it is so windy here in Clovis right now, but we consider it normal. Normal. Yeah, this is just a random day. Like it wouldn't surprise me one bit if we hit seventy miles an hour today in the gusts. Yeah, like, we had to lock the door and put up a sign here at the store because it's so windy. And worst design flaw in the history of mankind, my store's door opens inward. 
Worst design flaw ever. Okay, now it's that time where you step back and look at it, because if you keep messing with it. Yeah. yeah, one of the hardest things with these kind of projects is learning when to stop. Okay, let me step back and look at it. Yeah, that's uh, exactly what I was going for. Now I get to do the whole top. Mm, I say that. You don't think I should lighten it in the middle any? <laughs> No. No? Mm -mm. Hard decisions here. Okay, I'll leave it be because I can... If I don't wait too, too, too long, I can always do that later when he's not here. But other Rude. than that... <laughs> um, it's just so easy to work with. I suggest everybody give it a try. I Okay, and something else I'm going to mention. You do not need to wear gloves. I have a thing about... Uh, getting things dirty. So normal, even saying that, I normally don't wear gloves, but when I do washes, I wear gloves just because even though this one really wasn't that dirty, um, normally if I'm doing washes, my hands are all up in it, and I don't like getting my nail beds and my fingernails black for three days, you know, constantly scrubbing them, because that's, that's what happens. So I like to wear gloves when I do washes, but again, you do not need to. This is totally, totally safe. It's water-based. You can't smell that I just used paint whatsoever. Um, so yeah, I do want to make that point before we get off of here. I'm just weird, so I use gloves. <laughs> um, but JD, anything else from you? No, I love it. I think it came out really cool. Right out. Well, on that, we are off of here. Everybody have fun painting all of the things. See you next time.